Time once again for the Real People Multi Game Slasher Mega Tournament. Um, playing Battlestar Galactica, and I have to say, absolutely nothing has changed since last video. The humans are still in bad shape. They are on a remote planet, and things are quiet. I'm going to make the prediction again. I think it's going to be quiet for a little while. Um, let's hope so, because they're getting close to uh, uh, just giving up in depression. Uh, they're getting close to not having any spaceships left. I think four of them are damaged and two of them are undamaged. So if they get attacked uh, before those get repaired, they're going to be in trouble. And what else? Um, they're getting close to running out of fuel. So there are some things they can do about that, possibly. Um, they probably should because they do need to make at least two, if not more, jumps until they are safe in their new home. I guess the uh, Ionian Nebula is to be their new home um, and I, I don't I don't think they ever live there in the show so maybe they have to go to the Ionian Nebula and then the idea is that they uh, deal with some personal issues there and then they move on I think that's that's how the game ends is after you know they're they go deal with personal issues and then move on let's move on the big question now is how will Nineball move on now that he has no real role in the group. He, um, you know, we have our mechanic, we have our president and hero, we have our, our military guy who also is a hero, and we have our scapegoat, our prisoner. There's really nothing that Nineball is right now. He just lost the presidency last time and he has to decide what he is going to be. He decided what he is going to be is prepared. He used a card to draw two more cards. The two cards he drew were purple. So he's prepared to have some purple things. Then I remember this time to use his special power. First time in the game it's kind of rough because that's a pretty good special power that he has. Um, on the flip side I didn't do his a special disadvantage either so hopefully it evened out if not I I think it's okay I don't I don't want to lose sleep over that because that was my forgetfulness became the new game reality and um, I don't think it made it particularly unbalanced or unfair and if it did they are just cards okay so he chose requested resignation and this one he thought would be interesting and so do I we agree on this so the Admiral has to make a choice and that's Brezza uh, one of the reasons he chose this one is because it, it requires Brezza to make a choice. And he is suspicious of Brezza. There we go. There are three. Um, he was trying to suss out who the other Cylons are. Uh, seemed like the most, uh, along with getting prepared, the most, the best thing he could do right now. So the Admiral has to choose between um, the President and Admiral both discarding two skill cards or the President has to choose to give the present title to the Admiral or be sent to the brig section, uh, the brig right here. Brezza chose the latter option and that um, is going to cause some suspicion because you know he would then have all three titles or else Watermelon would be in the brig. So Watermelon's got a choice to make whether to give up the presidency or, or, uh, or go to the brig. Wow, tough choice. Well, Watermelon, she trusts Brezza, and the brig is not a good place to be. It's You can't do a lot there. Um, Tater is there. I don't think Tater is the best company. I bet she probably would just be complaining the whole time um, about the brig and about how unfair it is that they're both in the brig. And so and she wants to be able to do things. So she gave up the presidency. She also wasn't too impressed with the presidency. Um, she enjoyed it. But she thinks Brezza will do a good job. He was the leader of an illegal fraternity, which is kind of what this, this government is, an illegal fraternity. So there we go. So Brezza's sicking, uh, sorry. So Brezza's sitting in sick pay uh, with all of the titles in the game. He has achieved quite a lot. He's uh, destroyed Cylon Raiders. He's used a nuclear weapon. He has just become president, uh, appointed president, which is pretty, um, I don't know, I don't think it's as impressive as being elected. Um, but he did all of that, and I think he's feeling pretty good about himself, sitting in sick bay, and then blam, he got, he didn't make it through. Um, he actually, and I can say this now, he actually had another card 
where he could have dodged the the blast that took him down. He didn't. He personally didn't dodge it because he wanted the ship to get this uh, ship to get uh, destroyed by the raiders that were there, and that is because he was a Cylon. And he has to reveal this now. That's the rules of when you die. Uh, he was a Cylon, and now he is resurrected there in the resurrection ship. And I don't know why that guy's there. I don't know why you would choose to move to sick bay. But anyway, there we go. He's dead. He's going to lose all his cards. The titles have to be redistributed. Um, I think Watermelon's probably feeling pretty silly about about her her opinion of him. And as is Hubba, Tater probably too. They were all fooled, except for Nineball. At the end there, Nineball started to be pretty certain. And for the record, um, I will say Nineball could have moved him out of sick bay. Uh, but he just wasn't too sure about Brezza. So because Tater is in prison, Hubba receives both the Admiral title and the CAG title. Um, Watermelon and Nineball's characters are at the bottom of both of those lists. Uh, Nineball was lost his presidency for all of one turn, so he's the president again. He's pretty happy with the turn of events. He 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 had been thinking about getting Brezza, as I said, out of sick bay. He's glad now he didn't because not only did that um, get rid of a Cylon in their miss, uh, but it also gave him purpose once more. It's Tater's turn. She is still in jail, so we have to take a look at oh, what that is. It didn't kill her. That's good. Um, she has a choice to make now. She could either try to get out of jail. Now that Brezza's out of the picture, she feels like she has maybe a better chance of it. Um, however, she's going to do something else. She is going to executive order Watermelon in order to get something accomplished. And Watermelon's going to jump down here to the Admiral's quarters and she is going to indict Mr. Hubba here for being a Cylon. Watermelon and Tater are both positive of that. Um, Tater is the arbitrator so she can reduce the difficulty to one. Um, and that was Watermelon's sole act as president as you might remember is to make Tater the arbitrator. So let's let's uh, take care of that little skill check right now. And unfortunately for Watermelon and Tater's carefully laid out plan, Nineball was holding this political prowess card which made it so that the skill check automatically failed. He believes Hubba is not a Cylon and he believes in himself. Um, he doubted Brezza and that paid off. He doesn't doubt uh, Hubba and so he feels like that is going to pay off. Hubba's turn and he has just accused Watermelon of being a Cylon. He wasn't too certain before and I actually haven't marked anything up there but the fact that she just tried to put him in the brig did not make him too happy. So there's going to be a skill check. I don't think there's no one else has that card that just automatically makes um, an attempt, a brig throwing in attempt fail. So we'll let people go through this skill check and see if um, Tater doesn't get some company. Alright, so only Watermelon and Hubba threw in. Tater obviously wouldn't have had any colors except that went for it and she does not currently believe that Watermelon is a problem. Um, Nineball thought hard about it. He decided not to contribute to this particular skill check. He didn't want to see Hubba indicted, nor did he want to see Watermelon indicted. He is neutral. Alright, so that's five against. Uh, so that's negative five, negative two, negative four, negative six, negative five, negative two, positive or zero, positive zero, and negative zero, and then negative one. So she manages to stay out of jail, which is which is satisfying. The truth hurts, but it's better to know the truth than to live a lie. Somebody has a guilty conscience and so we're going to have a skill check. Um, I think everyone threw in except Brezza of course he has no cards. He would be able to throw into these skill checks he just doesn't have any cards so he can't. Um, 
and let's see what what comes up. So this skill skill check is particular in that it doesn't really hurt the group, especially if a good chunk of the group believes the person who it will hurt, which is the current player in this case, is a Cylon. Um, so how it all went down is it was it was positive three. There were some cards against it. In this case, it does, the, the cards against it might not be Cylon cards. Someone did throw in this Iron Will, or else it came from Destiny deck, though, and that means if the total strength is within four of the difficulty, which it was exactly, then the fail effect isn't triggered, so it's like nothing happened. Um, for whatever reason, Hubba got over it, his guilty conscience. Watermelon's turn. She's trying once again to throw Hubba in the brig. A lot of cards got thrown in here. Um, you know, these two both piled it on. She only she put in one. Nine ball put in nothing again. So let's see how it how it resulted. What the result was. That's two in favor. And the difficulty is lowered by three because um, Tater wants him in jail, and she's allowed to do that. That's her prerogative. All right, so we got a zero there, and that's a negative two. Oh, this doubles it, so that makes it negative four. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a positive two. That's a big one. Positive three. Ooh, positive seven. Positive nine. Positive 14, wow. Ooh, but then that drops it down 10, so it's positive four now. That's positive nine. I think I think they got it, unless there's another. Yeah. That's positive seven, so they would have beat it anyway. Now if you look here, man, this is all blue, so we can assume that Hubba and Destiny put that in. So that's a total of 10, 20 points he put in there. God, that was a lot put into this check just to get someone thrown in jail. Um, yeah, they're pretty sure. So now Tater has someone to talk to, probably the, the last person in the world she would have wanted to talk to. And funny enough, the only people who remain are the two um, least military people in the game, uh, the two most political people in the game. Um, so the little bit less military one gets the CAG and the Admiral title, and that's Watermelon. And that brings us to a labor dispute. Uh, this is a choice Nine Ball has to make. They're either going to lose two morale, which would bring down to two, which is horrible, or they're going to lose a fuel and the jump track is going to go back one. He, uh, it's a pretty simple choice. He's going to lose the fuel and the jump track. Just having two morale, that's just too close to uh, depression, this of depression. That's going to do it. We only got through one round of turns, but a lot, or maybe two rounds of turns. Yeah, I think two rounds of turns. I don't remember. We, it didn't seem much happen outside of a lot of, um, a lot of convincing each other to put people or let people out of jail. More of the former, obviously. Um, it, it's been a satisfying story for me so far, though. I, I enjoyed the fact that, um, Hubba and, um, and Tater are both stuck in jail now. The two that have been pointing their fingers at each other now have to, uh, they're stuck in the same cell and they gotta talk it out. Um, I will say I was kind of surprised that, that the skill check went the way it was, did. I really didn't know. There was a lot of cards on both sides. Um, I will also say that Destiny, I think, went against Hubba in that case, which was pretty interesting from my perspective. Normally I try not to uh, spoil it, by telling you those things, but um, I think it makes for a richer narrative to know that uh, that the fact that he was put in jail there was was uh, there's some chance involved. Um, chance involved in a, in a lot of crucial things, though, and some of those chances were um, whether or not I would forget someone's special power. Um, I think that's probably played. A uh, huge impact on the game, but in the way I'm sort of the hand of fate that is operating on this tableau of actors as they go through their little drama trying to save the last remains of their species, um, and we'll see if they are successful or not. It's looking like the latter, but 
maybe not. Um, next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, France Lake, Battlestar Galactica.